Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with a little bit of a video on the 2016 GMC Canyon. Uh, this one here is not really a video about the 2016 GMC Canyon. However, it's a video about the topper or canopy or camper shell. However, you want to word her. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of a defect uh, showing up in uh, this here uh, topper or camper shell as the uh, time goes on. As you come across the uh, passenger side of the vehicle here, you notice a little bit of a, a white color or gray color showing uh, right there. Uh, you could probably do that with touch-up paint and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. However, coming up here to the window frame uh, edge here, you see where it looks like it's gray or white showing. Well, that there um, over time will grow and over time will start to cause larger issues. So I'm going to go down to the accessory shop where I bought it and uh, see what they say. When you look at the topper itself, there's quite a line around the window where it may have been masked off and painted uh, with the window installed in the, well, topper. And I think that's where the problem is. The black color is not on the fiberglass before the window was put in. It was put in afterwards or put on afterwards after it was fully assembled. Uh, looking on the driver's side, it's a little hard to tell because the truck is a little dirty, but uh, the driver's side looks okay for right now. I'm gonna go down and uh, give the truck a wash just to see, um, you know, take the dust off it so we can see the edges. Once the edges are exposed, well, we will do another walk around and uh, see what pops up. Okay guys, so here we go. We got the truck all washed and everything. And I noticed over here on the driver's side, um, as you see here, there's a little bit of white, uh, or what looks like to be white showing through. And I don't know if this camera can pick up, but you can see the tape line or paint line in the uh, paint here. Walking around, uh, the rest of it looks okay, except uh, until you get over here to the passenger side. And you can see what I was pointing to earlier on the passenger side, how it's more um, noticeable there. Same with the chip uh, down here, a bubble or bubble uh, down here. Well, after a little bit of uh, back and forth and a waiting uh, between me, the topper place, and the manufacturer, um, I'll just show you here. There's a mark uh, down here, uh, some very minute uh, peeling here. But the main issue is when you come around the passenger side, the uh, peeling issue is more noticeable. As you see, there is, well, more right there. Now, after some back and forth and uh, waiting, playing phone tag and all that good stuff. I uh, finally got some answers to uh, the topper and such. So it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, take it back to the dealership, the local place that sold me it, and then uh, they ship it to the topper people in the States, obviously. And the topper people look at it and uh, say yay or nay. If they say uh, nay, well then they send it back and I got a deal with uh, the paint peeling that should be covered under warranty. And uh, if they say yay, well then they repaint it uh, for a second time and then uh, ship it back to me. I almost am 100% positive that this topper was gray or white at one time and they painted it black. Uh, where it is peeling is around the edges where the window was installed first before it was painted and I believe that's where the problem has um, come in. So I'm hoping everything goes well, hoping they uh, well take it, ship it back, paint it and send it back to me without well any hassle. 
So let's take her on down and uh, we'll get her unbolted, get her sent away, and I guess uh, hope for the best. Well, good afternoon, internets. Here we are. Well, you remember the saga of the paint peeling on the Range Rider topper uh, on the 2016 GMC Canyon. Well, it has officially been uh, 27 days that I've been dealing with this here problem. Gone through uh, three staff in our local uh, vendor that sells the product, and I have finally uh, got an answer back. Now, of course, um, I was hoping that there could be a credit in house in store where the local uh, vendor or dealer could truck box coat the topper and call her good. Then that way it works toward the future plan of the truck. However, the manufacturer uh, will not do that. Only will offer like $100, which is a complete insult when you consider it is their problem with the paint peeling. So I'm going to uh, make them pay their warranty and send it back to them uh, for them to repaint it all. Now that being said, it better come back blemish free with no problems at all. And the warranty period better start over now than, you know, being up in another month. I'm not going to, uh, you know, roll too hard on the dealership here in town. You know, the place that sells it here in town because, well, they had quite a things going on. However, it would have been nice for a little bit better customer service, a little bit uh, easier response and to have things gone better because, well, it most definitely left a uh, bad experience in my mind of what's been going on. And it, they may uh, lose out on money in the future based on how they handled this little situation. So let's head her on down, get them done, bolt this thing off my truck, send it away, and hopefully warranty comes through and repaints it all. Well, as you see, the topper is officially off the uh, 2016 GMC Canyon. Stop by the uh, topper place and, uh, well, they unbolted it and put it on the rack to be sent away. However, um, you can tell there is some damage to the truck damage to the paint of the truck from where the topper rubbed um, for the last, well, 11,000 kilometers. Some of those areas, if I ever did take it off, would uh, um, cause problems and end up being rust in the future. So of course, uh, they don't exactly know uh, the exact date that the next truck is going to be coming through to pick it up to take the topper back to the manufacturer. However, they're saying it could be middle of next month so right now we're sitting at 27 days so you know add what another 14 on top of that and uh, you'll get your total however then they're gonna have to do their job and paint it and then ship it back so we could be sitting at uh, three months or three and a half months before all this is said and done but it's out of my hands, it's in their hands, and I guess it is what it is. So yeah, I'll give you all another update once I know more. Well, here we are sitting uh, the last few days of October 2017. The uh, topper paint situation started uh, about mid-July of 2017. And well, here we are now. As you see, I got the uh, topper back finally. What's it been? Three and a half months of uh, back and forth phone calls and basically hassle and headache to get a factory uh, defect fixed. Um, a little bit frustrating, but it's the way it is. Well, they have painted it complete. They didn't just uh, spot touch, you know, the area on this side that was peeling. It looks like they actually took the windows uh, out of the topper to paint it this time. Um, there is no chips or peels or blemishes on uh, this side of the topper at all. And there's no uh, chips or peels or nothing on uh, this side either. 
you remember how it was peeling uh, really, really bad right in there, as well as a couple of bubbles, as well as a couple of bubbles uh, right in there. So of course they sent it away and uh, got that took care of finally. However, there is one little problem I'm not sure if I'm going to pursue or just leave it be. Now, of course, uh, here, looking down on the roof, um, there's some dust in it, but uh, it's the roof, so I guess it doesn't really matter. However, there is a blemish uh, right there. I don't know if it was a bug, uh, didn't get touched up, or maybe they dropped something on it and chipped it. I don't know if I should pursue that, you know, or just let it be. Uh, there is another, uh, whatever it is, you know, right here as well. So after all this time, all the headache, do I uh, make them send it away again and repaint it, this time with more care? Or do I just uh, suck it up, take it as it is? Because the grand scheme of things, um, I would like to get the complete truck uh, line next anyway. And that little blemish will be covered, so it uh, really doesn't matter. Uh, one of the things they couldn't answer me was if the paint warranty now is uh, day one all over again, or if I only have uh, like a month or two left on the warranty, because now it's basically run itself out. But, like I said guys, it's been basically three and a half months going back and forth here. Finally got some results. I guess everybody involved is happy. It is what it is, and around we go. Welcome to the extreme customer service fail. Um, frustrations, but I guess that's the way she rolls. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.